What is up, fam? Hope this message finds you all well and in great spirits. Well, well, well. Look, we are. We are here at Sheridan Ford. And guess what we're doing today? We are going to do what, brother? Order a GT500. Hey, I'm here with Tim. Thanks so much, brother. He saw the video of me saying, I need help. I need to get a GT500, and he answered the bell because of you guys who watch and subscribe and like, it's happening. We're gonna custom more GT500. We're gonna go inside, we're gonna spec it out, and I need your help to choose a few options, so let's go. All right, so Tim was the man. He saw the video, he reached out, and he was actually talking, and he had a lot of questions about the Green Mamba here. Uh, do you wanna take a ride with me and see how it feels? Absolutely. All right, so let's take a ride. We're gonna take a little ride. Uh, they have all types of Mustangs here. They're one of the biggest, uh, Sellers of Shelby's. So what we're gonna do is take a ride together. Help. The thinking is uh, maybe we should go after a track pack with the carbon fiber package and try to have like an ultimate track Mustang with the ultimate drag Mustang in the Green Mamba. So what I'm trying to do is I want to. Uh, he has a he has a GT350 R, which we're gonna take a look at later. Um, but he hasn't felt this uh, this setup yet. So gonna take a little, have a little fun runs and just kind of talk shop, see what's gonna happen. Wide right. All right. Take a ride, wide right. Yep. All right, go left. All right, all right. So then we're gonna take a left. One of the things too that is important is we're also gonna have some fun here at Sheridan Ford. We're not only just gonna order the package today, we're gonna come back, we're gonna find out the steps of the process and we're gonna have a really fun video where we're gonna have a delivery day, right? Absolutely. So, to it. yeah, well, I'm, I'm talking, we're gonna try to have a fun thing where you guys all come when it gets delivered. We're gonna have, depending on the day, if it's warm enough, we'll have some hot dogs. If it's cool enough, we'll get some cider. So it's, it's gonna be a real interactive, fun experience for everybody. And I have no idea what's happening in front of me, but we're gonna take our time. Uh, but we're gonna have a fun opportunity to have you guys along for the ride and be part of the process. So again, from ordering to delivery, we're gonna have a nice fun uh, uh, process of doing all that. But uh, we'll have a feel of this guy here. Just take it right. Yep. All right, so we're gonna put it in Sport Plus mode. And then we're just gonna wait for our turn here. So. <laughs> that is crazy. So yeah. NA, yeah. 10 speed, you know, with 93 degrees on side. We got a red light here, so we're gonna go on uh, the, now don't do this with, with don't just say you can take Tim on this. He gave me special dispensation. <laughs> so we're gonna have some fun, but uh, basically I'm trying to wear him down before we talk numbers and prices. <laughs> Get him a little tired, so. the power of the green mom but so imagine the gt500 guys is going to basically almost be double this power so you have a car that's double this power i have no idea i don't think i'm going with her for, with you for a ride on <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna have some fun here and i'm super excited and again just because of the the people who follow this and subscribe to this channel like Tim, who f hit me up on Instagram and said, listen, I have a dealership, we sell a lot of GT500s, I have a, a few allocations left, you better, I, I, this is literally the next day. Yeah. I ran here, I said, are you, are you oh, he's like, we're open till six. I drove here, and we're here, things are moving a mile a minute, and we talked about, we don't know exactly yet, but you said that like August, they're gonna be building them, right? Is that the idea? That's what the rumor is. Okay. I mean, until Ford puts that in stone, it's not 100%. Yeah, we have spec'd the car out. Well, you spec the car out. Yeah, we spec the car, but yeah. we're missing one option so far that we're gonna wait to let the, let the people see when we go back to the order sheet. Um, but what's interesting about, like I said, about Tim and Sheridan is that they are real Mustang enthusiasts and really big in the Shelby game. They sell a lot of Shelbys, 
So uh, this is also one of the, the determining factors. And they're very close to where I live in South Jersey. So we're going to come back and not only just buy the Shelby from them, but we're going to be reviewing some of their other epic. They have some nice trucks here. Of course, some other Shelbys are have come out. So we're going to have some fun with this dealership, guys. And like I said, stay tuned because we're going to have a long, lengthy process of delivery when it comes off the truck and then have you guys come here when we actually drive it away from the dealership for the first time. Well, anyways, I just want to give you that intro. I wanted to give Tim and Ryan the Green Mamba. Uh, so far, I see the smile on his face, so that's a good thing. Right now, we're going to head back and talk options and numbers. Okay, so we have, what year is this, brother? This is a 2019. So this is a 2019R that has a track package. So basically, what we're doing is we're looking at the carbon fiber. Yeah, it looks pretty good. To kind of see, for example, what we would want in a GT500 and... Yeah, I think that's gonna have to happen. That <laughs> looks too good. Yeah, I thought it was kind of a throwaway option. When yeah. Yeah, because what weight are you really saving with sure. that? Sure. But it just looks awesome. What color is this? This is Ford Performance. Ford Blue. Performance Blue. Because I was looking at blue as well. And uh, 2019R. This is Tim Sheridan's personal car. <laughs> All right. That's how you know you're dealing with the right uh, dealership when uh, the owner, is, this is what he's driving. So that, that's a, a vote of confidence here. But right now we're trying to figure out the, the uh, color choices and options for the GT500. So this is a helpful thing to see the Ford Forms blue. Now, is the GT500 gonna have this black or white stripes or red stripes? Do you know anything about that? There are a couple different stripe options. I believe there's a white stripe, a black stripe, and I believe there's a blue stripe. Okay. I think you can only get certain stripes with certain colors. I saw the orange has a blue yeah. stripe. So, I don't know. I know a lot of people were, it's a little bit too extreme for me, but. Uh, it takes a lot of guts to order the car. Yeah. With that color combination. <laughs> yeah. But I'm sure somebody will. They will. They're going to go. <laughs> people, hey, you know, it's America. Everybody wants to be different. I can't even complain. I, I pay, This looks good, too. Uh, how do you like this one? Do you think they're going to come and stick eventually? I mean, that's probably why I haven't ordered a GT. Really? Yeah. But, uh, I mean, this car is so much fun in terms of, I mean, if you remember back in 05 with the Ford GT, yeah. that car was 550 horsepower. It was a 5.4 liter supercharged, but it made 550 horsepower. That's with a supercharger. This car is 526 horsepower. NA. Naturally aspirated. Yep. And it just, I mean, who would ever think of a Mustang with an 8200 RPM rev limiter? I mean, the car just screams and it's, a hoop to drive so if you guys don't know uh the reason we're here too is because uh of you guys because you watch the channel because you like and subscribe uh we're here with tim who reached out to me and said listen i have allocations you better hop on them before they go so right now already we're here gonna get one in we're gonna spec it out and uh we'll go from there but we're gonna go inside and check it out I put a back seat in there though from the, like a stock one well, you have to are, find the package you now. gotta find the package the kit, they don't make it was a ford performance package now it matches the car the gt500 doesn't come with the backseat with the track package i believe it does not it does not but with it regular it does ah oh, the plot kind of thickens here i wonder let me see here i'm, I'm like molesting the car here okay <laughs> i wonder can you open the trunk up yeah. i want to see something because i if if because what I do is, I take my back seats all the time out for racing. I'm wondering if... And the other funny thing now is, so they always come with the spacers, but they yeah. used to tell us to throw them away. Yeah. They, they give you a bag now to keep them, and whenever you transport, you're supposed to put them back in. Now, what are these spacers supposed to do? Just protect they go the... In the springs. Gotcha. So when they ship it, they put it, it's a spacer in the spring. It makes the car higher. Got it. And it makes the, I guess the springs don't react as much, so it's not bouncing up and down gotcha. on the uh, transport truck. Gotcha. I think we're okay, because I tell you what, you know what I just saw? This right here, I'm just gonna move this for a second. See this right here? There's a bracket that goes in there, and there's two brackets that come out on my car. Yeah. If you pop them in, you can get them from like, and you can put back seats in, in there, no problem. I. The only way I install the back seats is if it's something from Ford. Gotcha. Just, yeah. Whenever yeah. it's like no, it's a Ford safety. bracket. Yeah, it's yeah. a Ford bracket. Yeah. I'm doing I'm, I'm little, you know, ideas because I do want the track package, but I want the back seat because I can easily 
I think we can still add them in or take them out because one of the cool things I do with my Mustangs is I kind of plug and play a lot. So even if I get the track pack, I have the carbon fiber one piece trunk. So if I take it to the drag strip, that big wing will kind of make too much drag. So I would just swap the trunks because actually they're the same. Uh, the main difference is apular forward as far as the body is concerned with a GT500. So there's sure. that's the. This is, I'm getting excited just looking at this R. It looks delicious, but anyways, let's go inside. Let's take a look at the order and uh, make our selections. So this does have a back seat. So this is an R with a back seat, guys. So that is something we could do with the GT500 if we needed to. Stitching matches, you know, it looks like it was original equipment. Yeah. Because it does come from Ford. And you guys do that here at Sheridan. Okay. But they don't sell the kit anymore okay so the ones that are out there are you had to find them yeah the, all right uh, i haven't seen many kits for sale like like i mm -hmm. think they're they're kind of tough to get we'll do another video about it yeah, yeah <laughs> it. Like, no no it looks good it yeah no it looks good because I, I know there are people who want to take their car even on like little family weekend getaways you know and this color is lightning blue metallic that looks pretty good too this is a tough decision. All right, let's choose our option. All right, guys, so we're here at Sheridan Ford, and uh, basically we're going to be already putting our order in for the GT500. I'm, I'm excited. I'm a little nervous. I haven't prepared enough, but I think we should, oh, I don't know. Yes, we are here Official uh, option list is also not only for the GT500, but the GT350. Uh, but we're going to go through here with our sharpie highlighter step by step and figure out what we want to do here so this is kind of the moment of truth when we go down we'll figure out how that would be total with all the options and we'll go all right so i'm gonna i was about to bite your <laughs> i was about to bite your uh, highlighter here i'm surprised i have that on the this is a already. this is a night yeah listen internet is crazy so we're looking at a gt500 fastback so definitely going to go with this here Gotta pay destination delivery so it gets here. Unless somehow we, we drive over. We'll take a road trip to the assembly line. You're not allowed to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, trust me, I've thought of that before. Rules are meant to be broken, right? Uh, trim series, we're not gonna look at that yet. Powertrain, we gotta pay the gas guzzler because, you know, the environment. Um, before we look at seats, we're gonna have to go with, and this is the moment of truth, we're gonna go with the track package because and i said it to you guys before because the green mamba is basically being a drag car this will be the ultimate track mustang so i think that would be cool to kind of have a debate on what the best mustang is is it a track mustang is it a drag mustang so and the only other thing we're going to add is we're not going to do the painted black roof or the stripes because you know me and i like to wrap the cars and change the colors a lot but we're going to just add the exposed carbon fiber instrument panel that's the options, and we're sticking through it. What, what would that be there, brother? Anything you recommend that I still should get, or did I you, you think my selections are robust enough? I think it's gonna be a nice car. It's gonna be a nice car? Okay. So those are the options. He's gonna calculate that while I spin it around one more time so you guys can see. Uh, again. Went with GT500, we gotta pay destination delivery, gas guzzler tax, carbon fiber package with carbon fiber instrument panel. And that's it, now we gotta choose the color. So, moment of truth. I know the color palettes, let me look that up. So now we gotta choose the color, but like Tim said, let me. I'm gonna sleep on it as far as the color is concerned. Let me know, comment below what color we should go with for the 2020 Shelby GT500. All right, go. So Tom just said that uh, he's telling me how we can actually track the order vehicle. So go ahead, brother. So if you go into Ford and you go to shopford.com, vehicle order tracking number, as soon as your dealer has a VIN number, you can put your VIN number in there and it will show you exactly where in the build process, if it's got a build date, build week, once it's been built, once it's you know leaving the factory, once it's on a transport, you know, towards wherever your vehicle's getting delivered. And it'll actually show you not a generic photo of the car. It will have a picture of the car down to track package, you know, all the different 
stripe combinations, you know, the painted roof, it will be your car All on right. this website. So a lot of times dealers Sweet. don't always tell you how, where your vehicle's at in the build process. Mm -hmm. This kind of, you know, we don't ever want you to go around the dealer, but you know, this way you can check on your car as much as you want. All right, so guys, it's amazing. Tim is teaching me so much. Again, the only thing I need is your help to choose a color. Everything has been chosen option-wise except the color. So he's waiting on you guys to help me to choose a color. I'll throw the colors up now. We'll put a poll up. Also comment down below. Let me know because the faster we figure this out, the faster you can put the order. Okay, so we just left Sheridan Ford. I'm running on adrenaline right now. It is correct. We have ordered the 2020 Shelby GT500. I did go with the track pack because we got to go big. You know, we got to go big. And we're going to basically have one problem, though. We need your help with the color. Uh, I have 48 hours to figure out the color before he puts it in the order bank. Um, I believe the order banks are officially open, so we can put the order through this week. So, but I'm locked in. My allocation is set. It's ordered. My name, the car. GT500 is coming to the channel. I am so excited. I'm on cloud nine, D9. Uh, but I just need your help with the color. I just, it's gonna be, that's gonna be the biggest problem. I, I don't know, the, all the colors look great. You know, I saw the lime green, I love that. I, I know the orange metallics out there, the red, the blue, of course, black, white, uh, silver. There's so many right now. It's like, now obviously, uh, I'm kind of leaning towards silver because I can always wrap the car or Joe can do his magic on it. We didn't go with stripes or we didn't go with black roof because again, I can get custom coatings to do his magic on it. And uh, you know, we still got AO detail to do the ceramic coat, but that's besides the point. Huge, huge. All right, let's go. Let's go, need your help. Again, give me a color instruction down below. Peace. Living the dream.